Hey everybody, so today I just wanted to jump on here and make the second of my two announcement videos. This one is going to be on the upcoming breast pump reviews that I'm going to be having on my channel. Now I have one, two, three, four, at least four, I believe, as of right now. I'm hoping to, you know, expand on that as my journey continues and I'm able to offer more to you guys hopefully, but as of right now I do have four planned and I just wanted to make this video for people who may ask questions to refer back to and just kind of give you guys who are expecting those videos a little heads up. First off I want to say thank you for being patient. I know a lot of you are very eager for some of the reviews that I have coming when it comes to these breast pumps, but I just want you guys to know that you know I take my reviews very seriously no matter what the product is, I really like to take time and make sure that I'm, you know, using it thoroughly and properly and reviewing it to the best of my abilities. But also when it's something as expensive as breast pumps and also, you know, something that's feeding your child that you use to feed your child, you know, I like to make sure that I'm getting every single little detail that I can for you guys. So I did want to say thank you because I have been taking my time with these breast pumps and really trying to learn them and figure out my thoughts and opinions on them. With that being said, I did come up with a whole bunch of different areas of criteria that I wanted to judge these pumps on. And then I'm going to go over in this video a couple different things that I just want to mention. At the end of every video, I will be telling you guys my personal thoughts and opinions, my likes, dislikes, my experience with the pump, but I'm going to keep that at the end of the videos just because if there's people who just want to hear kind of what the pump is about and don't really care my experience with it, then I want them to be able to watch the video and get that out of it and then, you know, people who are interested can just stay around till the end. But I'm gonna jump into the things that I judged the pumps on to. I wrote this all down on my phone, so I'm gonna be looking down. These aren't in order, but one of the things is price, obviously. Breast pumps can get pricey, and it's just, it's one of the biggest factors, I feel like, because you know, not everybody has a fortune to spend on breast pumps, so that definitely is a factor that I wanna judge it on. Also, the function or ease of use, because obviously the more complicated something is to use, the larger margin of error, so I wanted to judge it on that. Also, the basic, like the kind of general recommendations and reviews of that pump, whether it be on Amazon, whether it be word of mouth, whatever, I just kind of wanted to see what the general consensus was on the pump. Okay, I just had to throw my hair back there because it was driving me insane and sorry for this lighting. I had to sit up on my couch because my phone was dead and then now it's kind of made this lighting awkward. But anyways, so the next thing that I wanted to judge it on was the portability and power options because I feel like those kind of go hand in hand with each other because if something's portable, that's great, but you know, it's even more portable if it comes with a car adapter or if there's a battery pack and things like that. So that's something I'm also going to judge it on. Also accessibility to replacement or extra parts because that's a big one, especially if you're exclusively pumping. It's one of my biggest recommendations is to have extra and spare parts. I feel like even if you just, you know, part-time pumped, it's always great to have backups just in case something happens to yours. So if something's incredibly hard to get, uh, that's going to be a little tricky if something happens. One of the other things that I want to judge the pumps on was customer service. Now, this is a big part of troubleshooting with your pump. If something is to happen to it and you need to call in, obviously you're going to want a great customer service experience. You know, you want to be able to trust that they're going to help you figure out what's wrong with your pump, help you get a new one if it's not fixable, stuff like that. Also, I wanted to test the durability for those exclusive pumpers who watch me. Obviously, we use these pumps like no one's business. We're attached to them all the time. And for the most part, an extended amount of time as well. So I wanted to see how these pumps really last. I know that this really, I can't speak to for some of them because I've only been using them for, you know, a couple months now. But I feel like I may do updates to certain reviews. I've been thinking of doing that to like my stroller and my car seat as well. Just kind of like updates like a year later how I still feel about it. So I feel like I might come back and also expand on that as well in future videos. And then the last part that I wanted to judge it on was noise level. I honestly 
almost didn't even throw this in here because to me, if a pump works, I don't care how loud it is. However, I felt like it might be something that someone who pumps at work or someone who has an incredibly sensitive baby to sound or something like that. If it just really matters to somebody, I did want to throw it in just in case. And there are a couple things that I want to mention. The number one is, is I did not put comfort in the judging criteria just because Comfort is different for everybody. Everybody has different levels of sensitivity. So what I feel is not going to be necessarily the same to you. And that's the reason why I didn't want to judge the pumps on it. But I will give my recommendations, my thoughts and stuff like that. And I'll also give you the background of like my sensitivity and things like that in the reviews. And I did want to throw in here in case any of you wanted to do some homework of your own or if you hear me reference some things and you want to keep these in mind. This is stuff that I stumbled upon in my research about breast pumps. Like I stated in my other announcement video, you guys know I work hard on my reviews. I work really, really hard. I like to do a ton of research for you guys. I'm making a ton of notes. I just want to make sure I'm bringing you quality and I understand what I'm talking about. So, of course, I did re like research breast pumps and what's effective, what's ineffective, what works best, and what you should look for, stuff like that. So, I just wanted to share with you guys a couple of things that I learned. And one of the things was a nursing baby sucks 45 to 55 times a minute so cycle rates below 25 will likely be ineffective at drawing out milk i'll be sure to mention if any of the pumps go below that although i think as of right now none of the pumps that i'm reviewing do but i did want to mention that and also auto cycles are generally more effective at drawing out milk than manually adjusted cycles which i'll get more into that as the reviews go and then there are a few pumps that I'm testing out that have a two-phase expression and basically two-phase expression mimics baby's natural sucking pattern first two minutes are rapid stimulating a letdown and then afterwards it becomes a slower suction trying to effectively draw out milk so I will be sure to mention if those like which pumps have that and which pumps don't stuff like that but I did want to make this video and kind of throw in some tidbits that I learned, what I'm going to be judging on. Obviously, I'm going to be mentioning what I'm judging the pumps on in their review videos, but I didn't want to spend an extended amount of time. Right now, it says 11 minutes and 40 seconds. Five of that was probably messing with my hair, but you know, I didn't want to do this at the beginning of every single video. So when it comes to review videos, I'm probably just going to hit the bullet points of what I'm judging real quick for people who do not watch this video and then I'm just going to jump right in and we're just going to go at it. But I did want to explain myself to the people who I know are kind of following me for these reviews and that way you guys know what to expect. But do expect a pump review right after this video because it is probably my most demanded video as of right now and it is coming to you guys right after you see this one. So I just want to fill you guys in. I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.